Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, where we're currently on episode 4. And um, I did pick up a couple of new guys. I have currently two in the hospital. One, until an augment becomes available, he'll not be coming out. The other one is Kana, who's already at the rank of sergeant. Uh, very impressive so far. She's going to be down for 24 hours, but after she's out of the hospital... Her willpower still needs to recover. That's something that is definitely an important factor on this game. If you push out your operatives too fast, they're going to wear down a hell of a lot faster than you might like. So, let's continue. We can get more rookies. I think I was doing this soldier scan, actually. Let's go for that. Scanning. What do we have? Modular weapons. Weapon upgrades are now available. Good. I can also get to magnetic weapons. Oh! GTS school construction. Perfect. Research that. That's going to save me 50% on the mark. Yes. It will push back the resistance comms research a little bit. But so be it. If I can save some cash here, I'll happily do it. Room cleared. Next up, uh, clear this piece of alien machinery out. And keep scanning. Aha! We got another engineer. Blaze and Daniela are back. Both got promoted. Uh, they did get 25 alloys as well, if I'm not mistaken. And their cohesion has improved. So these guys like each other more. So I got an engineer. I got two uh, rookies promoted to squatty. I can have both of these on missions and assign a new covert action. That is a good couple of actions. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to assign two rookies to this mission. Let's see who I can send. Undying. Who do you have as a soldier bond mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody likes Kana. We, we know. Uh, I can send him on a mission with blazing guns. Jack Gunsmoke. So that's Undying and Gunsmoke. Uh, who needs the hit points more? Undying and Gunsmoke. Undying has five, you have four. So you're going to go there and you're going to take the other slot. And then you're going to go on a mission. Alright. Welcome back aboard. Blazing Guns. Oh, sorry, Rasgris. Promotes. Perks. Warden. Former law officer. Gains 20, per 20 aim bonus on overwatch shots. Handy. Band of brothers. Knocking out targets, picking up, or dropping bodies does not cost an action point and does not end your turn. Excellent. And he's a pathfinder. Gets a free battle scanner. These are all very random. They don't stack at all. So be it. So be it. All right, and the other one, Electra, with her uh, interesting outfit. Breacher, Gorilla, freedom fighter that has re been resisting aliens since birth. Plus five defense on sabotage missions and when fighting in isolated locales. Uh, and plus ten critical chance. And arm modifier on flanking attacks. So this one needs to be flanking. Also, uh, Shiguri. This is when you're wounded, you get one extra action point. Ooh. And you get 50 crit chance in melee. <laughs> this is nice. These two stack. Because choleric means that she has a short temper. And getting hit in combat gains you 3 mobility and 15 critical chance. So from this one, I gain uh, 50 critical chance. I gain 80 dodge. I gain an extra action point. Uh, and this is, by the way, in melee. And this could be another bit on melee. And she has 7 hit points, so I could take a few more risks with her. In fact, I might make her a melee specialist. Just because I don't really have one yet. Oh, we got a promotion here for the, the team as well. Soldier Bond. 
Getting hit should be a problem for Atlas's character. Yes. <laughs> About that. Alright. Custom poster. Yes, please. We already have one with the kicking animation. Oh yeah, that's better. Meet your nightmares, Advent. Click. Done. Okay. Let's get this soldier on board. What do we have here? Flavia! Oh dear. Flavia de Lucci is back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. For those of you who have not seen the Long War series, Flavia is uh, a legendary operator from the previous series. That's why I'm very happy to have her on board. Flavia. What do you have for promotions? She has uh, Old Guard. Former Marksman. Plus one damage, plus one crit, and plus two armor piercing when using ballistic weaponry. Okay. That's not ideal, because once I'm upgrading to magnetic weapons, this bonus is going to go right away. Moving target, plus 20 dodge. And infighter, plus 25 dodge against attacks within four tiles. Oh, you're a short range operative. Very short range. She's ha Well, she's going to have to be, because she has no aim. Okay, so in her case, I'm going to spend that uh, skill stat on more mobility. Yes. Okay. What's next? Supplies? Or rookies? Or a grenade? An ammo? Let's go for the grenade. And the ammo. Both are nice. There you go. We can now get the GTS for cheaper. Yes, let's go for resistance comms next. And engineering, I want you to build a facility for me. Right here, I want you to build a guerrilla tactics school. And I want you to be fast on that. Also, I should have an extra engineer spare. No, they're just... No, okay, never mind. They're all busy now. They're all busy now. Her old face was cuter. Yeah, well, I guess she, uh... <laughs> she aged. Yes, as I was expecting, our resistance havens are under attack. And I have the, uh, the honor of stopping it. Operation Iron Whisper. Unfortunately, I think... I might have to go with all squaddies on this one. The game still says it's easy, though. Oh, actually, Kana has gone back to 63 will? Already? How? Kana is exceptionally quick at regaining her will. 63 out of 53. But Larry, not so much. He's down on 40 to 62. Still, I think it's time to get some other characters uh, the light of day. Starting with Bones. My Reaper. I can also get the Reaper a different gun, but you don't really have nearly as many options. Uh, I can give them a primary pistol, though. Very questionable. Very questionable for a Reaper, that is. Reapers you want to have the vector rifle on. That's what they were designed to have. Mm, let's go with the M200 Intervention. Quite a nice looking gun. Okay. The Reaper does not like anybody. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright. Fine. Um, you already went on a mission. You went on a mission. I went Flavia. Flavia, anybody you want to team up with? Jesus. What sort of pheromones does Kana have? Everybody wants to be bondmate with Kana. This is impression. <laughs> this is impressive. Like, what the hell? <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, Angel. Alina. You're already teaming up with somebody else, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so you're teaming up with Alec. I'm going to keep that one going. 
Kana is very popular. She's Chanel number five. Yeah. Uh, Wagner? With Alec. Oh, you got a very high rate with Alec. Oh. Her chance with Angel is actually a little better. It's 7 9 versus 7 6 from um, the other guy. And Alec. Yeah, I'm going to team this guy up with Alec. But. Hmm. Yeah, no, there are going to be characters which have already been deployed. Unless I pick Blaze. No, actually, Blaze already has been deployed. Never mind. Or has he? No, he has not. He's not gone on a mission yet. Hold up. Hold up. Blaze. Teamed up with Daniela. Oh! Derp, you're already teamed up. I'm still trying to figure out bondmates. Sergey. Yep, with Alec. Provided that he has enough willpower. Uh, yes, no. No, no, no. He does not. 43 out of 53. Not good. Not good. How about Red and Maniac? Any uh, love there? Yes, actually. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's use that. Now, it's going to be time to equip these guys. The Reaper setup. Flavia was the moving target. Um, she needs to be very, very close to enemy targets. Now, believe it or not, but you can actually set a pistol as a prime weapon. And, and this is going to be beautiful. You can have two of them. Look at that. Flavia Orphan de Luce. If she pushes in with her two guns, she's going to be able to do a lot of damage. Because the closer a pistol gets, the closer or the more damage she does. Look at that. As for your stats, I believe I already gave you the point in mobility. Yes. Okay. Next. Jean. Praetorian, melee. I could go for melee, but you're not really... Not really mobile enough for that. How about as a secondary... Melee weapon. Combat knife. Oof. Is that all? Here, other melee weapon. The Wakazashi. Lightning slash. Other perks? Well, basically don't get hit, or do get hit. A tactician. Missed attacks still do one damage. Right. Uh, what do we spend this on? I don't have enough points to go from ability. Guess a bit of aim never hurt anybody. Except advent. How about an SMG? An SMG with an upgrade. Let's go with a P90. I know it looks a little weird here. If you have a P90, it usually works better. If you have the character set up as... What was it? Laid back? Yeah, look at that. Hello. Me and my P90 over here. <laughs> Me and my P90 just going for a stroll. Upgrade. I can get a stock or a suppressor. Suppressor is going to be best used not so much on this one, but on the Reaper. Yes. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was one click too many. Here. Defend the New Arctic. Please give me the same team. Thank you. Maniac. Pioneer. Uh, plus one damage with non-ballistic weapon. With non-ballistic. Oh. Oh, LS is laser. So, you're going to be doing increasing amounts of damage. Gotcha. And this is damage with a melee and low profile. Now, I know how to get a lot of damage out of this guy. 
And it's going to be with an M249 saw. Um, reason being, these things get heavy weapon. They cap mobility at 16 and aim at 80. They do, however, give you the full auto fire option. Fire a long burst at a target that does plus one damage per ammo left in the clip. The shot's less accurate against targets in cover and consumes all remaining ammo. It has a 33% chance to destroy cover and cannot be dodged. It does need two action points. So, this guy um, has a damage of 6 to 8 with that gun, plus a potential 5 if he has a full clip and he dumps it into one target. Let's say that target might, might just be a chosen. Maybe. And you're going to be carrying a katana around because you can. Let's up the aim. 73. I'm actually going to have fairly good squaddies on this operation. I might need to bring a flashbang though. Unequip barracks. Flavia, you're going to... Actually, who has the most willpower? Mm hmm. You. Flashbang. This is going to be fun. Toss a crit to your sniper. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Begin. This is always the mission where the first chosen shows up. Can you have a scorpion as your secondary weapon? Sure. Uh, Jakob, that's a um, maniac, right? Because if that's maniac, I just... Uh, did I just send him out on the mission? No, I don't think it was Maniac. Or... I don't know. This is how much attention I pay. Word just came down. The aliens have amassed a huge force to strike one of the resistance outposts nearby. And those people desperately need any help we can provide them. We're going in to eliminate the enemy threat and secure the area. Okay, Chosen. You and me, buddy. What sort of map are we facing now? Oh, we're knee-deep in the snow. Rescue at least six, six, uh, six civilians. We seem to be on a highway. Oh! Oh, it's this map. It's the damn map from... Uh, XCOM 1. Enemy within. Oh, that's glorious. Look at this. This is pretty. Hydroelectric dam. Water goes in here, gets pumped through a turbine, comes out there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, the regulars are not concealed, but Bones is. Riker here. Sorry, Mr. Riker, actually. No contact? Really? Do I have the Templar in this game? Uh, yes, uh, like it is in the game, but I don't have them yet. I can that. Now the downside of this whole thing is that I do not have a lot of flanking opportunities. On the run. <laughs> Come get some. Hello, Chosen. Which one are you? Oh, crap. Oh, it's the assassin. It's the most dangerous one. Immune to explosions, regenerates lost health, takes additional damage from three attacks in a single turn, and her adversary are reapers. Fun. That seemed to be a shot from, I think, a sectoid. Hello, aliens. Are you taking your sweet time? There we go. 
Bones. Where is the enemy? There. Sectoid and a trooper. Now, the game is very kind in showing me when I'm going to get detected. That's one of those uh, information mods that I have. These are pretty easy to overwhelm, but not at this range. Oh shit, I'm going to get detected here. Uh, did you have an Overwatch perk? No, you do not. Orphan, I want you to rush here. This has line of sight to the trooper here. Screw it, we're going aggressive. And you, I want you in Overwatch. If they do push in, I want that Saul looking at them. Oh no. Sorry. Couldn't get there in time. Now I am bound to get at least one person in the hospital after this mission. That's a guarantee. Oh, I got the lightning slash. If you got the Wakazashi, like Red has, you can get a lightning slash, which means it's a free attack on any target within range, which is going to be the trooper. And then I can still use all of my actions. Chop! Two points. Nice work. Yeah, you're in a terrible position there, sir. Okay. Time to get Flavia flanking. Because flanking is something she does best. Aim is not great. 58 only. Ooh! <laughs> Flavia taking no prisoners today. Holy shit. That was great. Please feel free to do that again. Uh, slash attack 1 to 4. Standard attack... I only need one. Saves me the SMG. Yet? That was beautiful, Flavia. Well done. Bones, moving up. Um, let's keep going. Keep scouting. Oh dear. Oh dear. I think we need to have Flavia have a chat with this Faceless. But the bigger problem could be that they could detect me. What, they're running out priests already? Whoa! Do I have the combo deagles? Uh, yes, you can. But so far I don't have an akimbo class yet, or at least not a character which has the akimbo perks. Where's the Chosen? Where's the Chosen? Chosen's not here. Oh, and the Faceless hasn't moved. This could be a hell of a lot worse. I do have that Suppressor, so I have a pretty good chance to stay concealed if I fire. Alright, 73 or a 63, and I do 11 to 13 damage. No, that's a bit much. Can you see that Priest from over here? From over here you can, definitely. Get that priest. Bigger concern. Maniac, how much? Seven damage. Nice work, dude. Flavia, push him with your pistols. Go for the big guy over there. Now from what I recall from the description, each pistol gets its own aim. So she can hit with one pistol and miss with the other one. And that's what happened here. She got one hit and one miss. And I'm going to have a bit of a problem here. Because I do not have the damage output to take this whole guy down. So I'm going to fall back. And take out this guy. Nice. Well done. Well done. Now, uh, 
I could toss that thing down there, the claymore mine. But I don't have the firepower to blow it up. Not in this turn, anyway. Certainly. Nope. Don't take a chance. Not yet. I need the Reaper alive. Because it's the best weapon I have against the Chosen. Oh, you have bigger problems. Right, they're executing civilians. Alright, buddy. What's the plan? He has a lot of mobility, though. 14. Is he gonna go for a swipe? Oh, shit. Whoa! Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Yikes. Yikes. So now I only have three operatives left. Yes. Uh, haha. I think the trooper is going to stay busy shooting civilians, which, well, which is perfect for me. I can't say I really care. Full auto fire. On this guy. Missed? Shit, hit the fan fast. Gas tank exploded. No, the whole truck exploded. That's <laughs> worse. Uh, I can hit this Chosen pretty bad. Or pretty good, depending on how you want to look at it. Flavia, please don't die. She is inside of four tiles. What? How? Where is this Chosen exactly? Why do I have a 23 aim? You're not behind high cover, lady. Oh, shit. You have a shot at the Chosen. Take it. I don't care if you're gonna blow your concealment, I just need damage on her. But why exactly I do not have a good line of sight with Flavia, I don't understand. That Chosen is not where it's supposed to be. That Chosen is not here. That Chosen is standing somewhere over here. The Chosen already took damage from the explosion. This thing is bugged. Um, yes, I think it's this save. Or... Is it? Let's see. Because if I don't exactly know where the Chosen is, and the game says it's in a different location, then it's going to be very hard to build tactics around that. Schrodinger's Chosen, yeah. Like, is it on this tile, or is it on that tile? What was that? I hope that reloading causes the Chosen to actually go back to the place where it's... Well, where it actually is. And as a bonus, I also get another shot, literally, with emptying my mag. Aha! Game. You lied. Also, why is the Chosen suddenly on full health? Oh, herp a derp. That's because I didn't actually shoot the Chosen yet. That's what did the damage. That was the Reaper. The Grim Reaper. Okay, so now we're going to push in. With Orphan. Now we're going to do 8 to 10 damage. Bang, bang. 4 damage, 1 missed, 1 hit, no crit. Unfortunate. Empty your mag on this guy. Oh, well, he died, but we didn't get the animation. She's gonna have dodge. He's not. He's flanked. The Chosen's objective is to extract information from your troops. Um, so they're probably likely to do a melee attack. Oh. That was not a kill. 
And I got concealed, or I got detected on top of that. Oh jeez, you regen. Yeah, I knew that. Uh oh. Okay, he's going for civilians. Gets the civilian. Chosen. What's the plan? Mm -mm. That's not actually what I was expecting. Because this blinds them, but only Orphan. That's actually a pretty shitty attack from the, the Assassin. The Assassin could, and very well should, have killed me, but didn't. Reload. That's a great idea. Thank you. Engage. Alright, so if I get three attacks, I might kill this Chosen in one go. Hey, Chosen. How would you like 10 to 12 damage? Yep. Oh, yes. Okay, Bewildered kicks in because he got attacked three times. Once by the gunner and twice by Flavia. Look at that. Alright, now we wrap up with this dude. That Chosen should have taken a different action than it did. That was really unusual. Unfortunately, though, I lost a trooper. Hmm. I'm quite sad that Gene died. That was not supposed to happen. That, that that dude just went up, hit the truck, truck exploded, Gene died. The end. Though our peacekeeping forces were ambushed today by radical elements, their work must continue. We will not rest until the wild lands beyond our borders are tamed. Until our world and our people Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So Jean died on her second mission, I guess? Or was that her first? Second mission. Oh! Why do you not get a promotion out of that? Maybe she just is a little short of the XP for that. Anyway. Um, yeah, for Reapers, it's always pretty much a set build. It's always remote start for me. Detonate an environmental explosive, causing it to deal double damage within twice its normal radius. And this guy, he can be a bishop. Bring another bishop when you deploy. Bishops work in pairs to complete missions. Each has one attack refund, which includes standard... Sorry, standard shot, pistol shot, throw grenade or claymore, launch a grenade, a hiccup, which I suppose is another attack, stock shot, walk fire, and raider's slice. All allies lose 24 aim, four of which is permanent, if deployed alongside a pair of bishops. Yeah. I'm not even sure if I have another bishop. Let's check, because I need to know about that first. Is there another bishop? Besides, ideally there would be a bond mate. Uh, soldier abilities. Everybody who does not have a bond mate could be considered. Nope. 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 N yes. Oh, duh, this is Maniac. This is a Rook. Nope. 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 
Nope. And that was everyone. So I don't have a second bishop. In that case, let's go for drive out. Strike the enemy with the butt of your weapon, dealing only little damage, but knocking the target back, possibly out of cover. Handy to have. Also, soldier stats. I kind of like this guy with his SM or with his uh, MG. Let's keep putting more aim into that. Hmm. Quite unfortunate. All right. Uh, with that, I'm going to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we have a first casualty. Not supposed to happen, but neither was that explosion. So, Gene Red Allen is no longer with us. Hmm. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining the episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you soon on the next one.